Hello, uh, my name is Jim Jim Howard. Today is uh, let me look down here in the taskbar, <clears throat> November twenty first, two thousand six. Uh, not sure how many I can, things I can get squeezed in here. I was uh, I think the other day uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest was on TV. I, I didn't actually watch it. I'd seen it before. That reminded me of uh, a little story. I was working security at uh, Research Belton Hospital in Belton, Missouri. And about 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning, a drunk came into the emergency room. We didn't have any other patients in the emergency room at that time. And he went over on cart number two. And uh, the nurse went over to uh, check out his vitals. And he was saying, calling her Nurse Ratchet from when it was over the cuckoo's nest. Then the, uh, the nurse went back and started doing some charting or whatever, and the guy was being kind of mouthy and doing some cussing, and I went over and I talked to him. I said, sir, you know, please, you know, don't use that kind of language here, whatever. Since there weren't any other uh, patients, it wasn't a big deal to me. And he uh, called me Rent-A-Cop. And uh, I went back. And then uh, the ER doctor went over to uh, Dr. Morgan, went over to uh, check him out. And he was calling him Mr. College Boy and going on like that. I uh, picked up the phone without the nurse or doctor knowing that I did it. I picked up the phone and I ran him through the computer police computer. There was a warrant out for his arrest. Nothing, you know, nothing major, but there was a warrant for his arrest. So I got off the phone. I didn't say anything to anybody. The uh, nurse and doctor were back at the counter there, and I don't know what they were waiting on blood work to come back or something, whether I'm not sure. And uh, it commented, I think they might have, com nurse might have commented, you know, Nurse Ratchet, that's from that, you know. Yeah. And I said, uh, you know, he called you Nurse Ratchet. I said, it doesn't bother me one bit. He said, uh, Doctor, he calls you Mr. College Boy. It doesn't bother me. But, you know, he called me Rent-A-Cop. And for that, I'm going to have I'm gonna have to arrest him for that. And they said, oh, Jim, you can't arrest somebody for that. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, he can call you, you know, Nurse Ratchet, call you Mr. College Boy, whatever. But he said, I said he can't call me Rent-A-Cop. I'm going to send him to jail. Jim, no, no, you can't send somebody to jail for that. I said, yep, he's going to jail. That's what he's going to jail for. I didn't tell him there was a warrant for his arrest. So they were just kind of shaking. Of course, they knew me, but they were also kind of shaking their heads, you know, like, oh, what, you know. So uh, anyway, they treated him, gave him his uh, whatever, and then I went around the corner and I called the police, said there's a gentleman here that warrant for his arrest. And... Uh, they said, oh, okay, well, hold on to him, Jim, we'll be there in a minute. And uh, I came back, the officer came in, one officer, and uh, I'm not sure if he cuffed him, probably he cuffed him. Anyway, he's taking, I'm sure he cuffed him. Taking him out, I said, do you need any help? He said, no. So he took him on out to the car, and uh, I followed on out. Sure enough, the guy resisted, and it took both of us to put him in the car. And then I came back to ER, and of course, the officer left with him. Oh, well, the officer uh, came back and said, uh, I'm also going to charge him with, I forget whether it was disorderly conduct or disturbance, I forget what it was. And will you, you know, <clears throat> come to court on that? And I said, yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I went back, and the nurse and doctor, Jim, you can't arrest somebody for calling. I said, yeah. That, and I never told them. <laughs> Maybe they're watching this now. I never told them that he was actually arrested because there was a warrant for his arrest. Let me throw another story real quick. I wish this recording program I'm using doesn't have a timer, so I'm not sure how long I've gone. Um, let me throw another story. 
it was again, there wasn't anybody else. No, this patient came in there in the emergency room, same hospital, and there wasn't anybody else, any other patients. And I was standing at the counter there, and the guy is doing this to me. You know, I'm just looking at him. I'm thinking, you know, I, I don't think I've arrested you. You know, I'm, I, I'm just looking at him, you know, and he, he just <laughs> says to me occasionally, but man, you know, what an asshole. I mean, why, you know? I thought, that's not smart. So anyway, they, he got treated pretty quick and uh, getting ready to be released. So I just went over and I called the local police department. I said, uh, there's a guy leaving here. You just might want to kind of keep a, keep an eye on him. He's kind of strange. So uh, I was on the same radio frequency with uh, the police department. I could have called him on the radio if I wanted to, but I did very rarely ever use the radio to call him. And, uh, but then I heard on the radio that uh, an officer was, you know, I got that car in sight now, okay. And the guy just stopped at a, not sure if it was a stop sign or a stoplight. We didn't have many stoplights at that time in Belton, Missouri. I think we did. I think he, I think he stopped at a stoplight and it turned green and it, he just sat there and turned red and turned green again. He just sat there. So the officer went over and ended up arresting him. And uh, so anyway, I went back to ER because I've been making my rounds. I could hear on the radio. Went back to ER and I said, you know that patient that was just in here? And he got arrested. And uh, I, I said, I guess I was kind of responsible. I called and told him to keep an eye on him. And uh, I said it was his own fault. He was such an asshole. And the doctor said, well, how was he? How was he being an asshole? I said, giving me the finger and everything. I said, what the hell was wrong with that guy? Was he mental or what? And the doctor said, no, he has Tourette syndrome. I went, oh, no. Oh. You know, I mean, that, that was an involuntary thing. He couldn't help himself from doing it. I mean, he could have been, like, Tourette syndrome. I've run across it a few times, and it manifests itself in different degrees and in different areas or whatever. So that's uh, enough of that. I got some more stories though. Hey, check out my blog, showmeblog.com. Thank you very much.